everybody. Uh, my name is Jose Manuel Gutierrez. I'm coordinating this author of the Atlas uh, Annex. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, Atlas includes in the sixth uh, assessment report an innovative uh, product, which is the Interactive Atlas. It's an, a web online tool uh, where um, a lot of information expanding the, the figures and expanding the results which are included in the static material in the in the PDF in the book uh, can be obtained. So this uh, this uh, interactive atlas has been developed by the IPCC Working Group One Atlas Team. This is around twenty people, plus uh, a number of contributing authors. So I acknowledge the work done by all of them, and uh, I include uh, in the slides my email, so you can contact me uh, directly. And I want also to acknowledge uh, Preditia, who, uh, which was the, the company doing the technical development. So, the uh, this is the landing page of the interactive atlas, and um, it includes uh, two main components. The first one uh, is the uh, the regional information component. Is the icon that you have on the bottom left. Uh, this uh, allows exploring observation and, uh, observational and climate model data, projections for the future, for instance, uh, uh, including uh, data from global CMIP6, is the, the latest intercomparison project, but also regional CORDEX uh, data sets for a number of atmospheric and oceanic variables. So the interactive factors includes information on surface temperature, on precipitation, on snowfall, also on wind and for the ocean uh, is to uh, su uh, sea surface temperature, pH, sea ice uh, and so on. So it includes a variety of uh, variables all linked to the assessment done in the chapter. So the interactive factors is not an independent tool. It is linked to the, to the assessment done in the different chapters in the technical summary and in the summary for policymakers. And besides the basic variables, it also allows to uh, as, uh, to to explore uh, extreme indexes, which are used in Chapter Eleven, as was uh, uh, mentioned by Jonathan in the previous talk. So we, we have indexes for extreme precipitation, uh, heat waves, extreme temperature, and so on. So this is the the visual appealing tool. Uh, uh, I will I will show on a screenshot uh, in a, in a minute, but we have another element. Uh, which is the regional synthesis component. This is confidential. I can't show you any information there because it allows you to explore the assessment information. So the, the final messages produced by the, by the IPCC, by the sixth assessment report, uh, about regional changes for a number of uh, what is uh, so-called uh, climatic impact drivers. So it's like indexes affecting uh, uh, or producing impacts uh, in different sectors. So this is the handshaking between the working group one, which is physics and working group two, which is impacts. So we provide uh, assessment on physical variables, but also on indexes, which are more linked to the impacts. This is what we call the climatic impact drivers. So uh, that, uh, that uh, component supports uh, the, the regional assessment done in the technical summary and in particular in the summary for policy maker. So that would be, um, uh, for instance, a lot to expand on the figures which uh, you will be um, checking on the, on the summary for policy makers. And then in the documentation, the third uh, main block, we include uh, user guidance, uh, videos, focusing very much on videos, but uh, we include information on reproducibility as well. And that's, that's been a major uh, focus of this uh, assessment cycle, because uh, since the, uh, in particular for the interactive atlas, because since we are providing data, which is just produced from data, uh, applying a pipeline of different post-processing um, steps, uh, we wanted to have all the all the steps uh, publicly available, well documented, so anyone can reproduce the same information that we have done, uh, just by uh, checking that information. So everything is public, is uh, is uh, fully available, 
and it's uh, reproducible. So even uh, if there is some problem, some bug, so that will be there. So the, everything is open. That um, so uh, if the regional information component uh, provides regional information, as the name indicates, both in terms of periods in the future, for instance, the end of the 21st century, for, for or across a number of scenarios, so high emission, low emission, so the typical uh, projections in the future, which uh, accompany all the IPCC assessment reports, but the, uh, it also allows you to, um, to look at the data, to look at the projections, uh, using a, a new dimension, which is the global warming level. So we provide also the possibility to look at the, the future world at two degrees, three degrees, four degrees, and also 1.5. So we include policy uh, relevant uh, global warming levels, 1.5 and 2, relevant for, for because they uh, align to the uh, Paris Agreement, uh, Paris um, uh, uh, the, the, yeah, the re re regulation and uh, uh, also uh, more um, extreme scenarios uh, just to, to have high, um, high impact, low likelihood information. So the typical information that you can get from the interactive atlas is uh, in the form of global maps. So this is what, what you have on the left is a screenshot. So you can choose the data set, global or regional, the variable the period or global warming level, and also the season. Yeah, so you can uh, customize the season of interest for your region. And then you get typical products like the, like the warming, or this is the case for uh, precipitation. This is the annual, but you can get winter or summer or any other season. Uh, and uh, also uh, this uh, another variable, this is sea level rise. So all that kind of maps can be produced and customized with the interactive atlas. And uh, on the top of that, uh, the atlas also allows regional analysis. So by clicking on a, on a particular region, for instance, the Mediterranean, uh, the interactive atlas uh, uh, provides uh, aggregated regional information uh, in a number of visuals. So the, the by default is the time series. So those are the typical plots with the time series, all models uh, into the future, and uh, but uh, there are also uh, information uh, in the in the form of uh, more uh, modern visuals like the climate stripes. I, I guess you are all familiar with that. Or this is, for instance, the annual cycle uh, change. So you can see that uh, in summer or in winter, the climate change uh, signal would be uh, stronger or weaker. And also um, uh, summary information uh, in the in the form of tables and the scatter plots of precipitation versus temperature, and uh, all that referring to the regional, the particular region of interest selected among a number of predefined regions, which uh, you have on the on the right. So this is the updated reference regions, which are underpinning the assessment done in the working group one six assessment report. So this is the, 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 the regions where uh, the information can be aggregated and the, the assessment can be, can be obtained. They are not the, the only ones where you can get information. Uh, there are also, for instance, information for major river basins, information for monsoon regions, uh, for continental regions. This is in support of Working Group 2 because they use those particular continental regions. But uh, we have uh, limited granularity. We don't allow to, uh, to obtain regional information, aggregated information for customized regions or for countries, because this is not the remit of the uh, working group one um, um, report. Uh, so we rely on regions where the uh, regional information makes sense and can be obtained reliably and the uh, links to the literature and links to the a minimum skillful scale for, for the models. So just uh, the final slide about reproducibility and reusability, all the information which is um, uh, used in the interactive atlas, for instance, the, the reference regions or the reference uh, grids, 
uh, all the, the data sources, all that uh, is being included in a GitHub repository, which uh, will include uh, all the information which is needed to get exactly the same figures or the, uh, to obtain uh, or expand and reduce this information. And that would be also uh, publicly available. And um, all, all that uh, uh, includes also the scripts and notebooks where you can find the, the particular code used for the different pieces of the, of the analysis. And all that is done using uh, open community tools. So the, the, this is all open to the, to the community. Uh, and I think that's, uh, that's it. Uh, in the interest of time, I think I will stop here. Thank you very Thank much. You.